we enter the start of yet another weekend. It's been a warm and humid end to the working week. Meanwhile, we'll be looking at uh, that uh, depressed uh, system out there in the Atlantic, and it's the month of July, and you should be standing by. In terms of uh, the outlook uh, from the Met Service, they're uh, looking at uh, at least uh, four named storms to be of concern to Trinidad and Tobago. And obviously, uh, we'll be watching that area, which is from Trinidad and Tobago all the way out to Africa. And there's uh, yet another tropical wave uh, coming off the coast there, but it is fighting some uh, dry air. And now, uh, basically, that dry Saharan air will basically block most of the activity coming out of uh, that uh, system. But obviously, down towards the south, there's still the ITCZ running there, so we'll still like to see the showers from time to time. Meanwhile, talking about that depressed system, there it is. It's just uh, moving towards the northwest, speeding out towards uh, the open waters north of the Eastern Caribbean. So it's no threat to land, and it should basically be staying out there, out at sea through the weekend. Now behind it, you can't see it here, but there is a lot of Saharan air in there, some dry dust as well. So you could be seeing some of that haze pushing in, but only a few showers likely across the southern part of uh, the Eastern Caribbean as you go through Saturday and Sunday. Still a bit of instability caused by that low pressure passing towards the north. Now today, we did see a couple of uh, clouds and a few brief showers, but overall, you be, should be seeing at least a bit more in terms of a warm and a clear night for many of you. Just a stray shower coming across the hills and uh, through mid-morning, through Saturday, you'll watch the heat build. You'll also watch some moisture as well, and that will come across the hills, usual for this time of the year in the Tobago. So you will be seeing those mid-morning showers carrying on into lunchtime and into the early part of the afternoon. Similarly, for uh, Trinidad, look for a mostly settled night, apart from a couple of uh, showers coming across the hills. Saturday as well, seeing some sunshine first thing, seeing the clouds as well beginning to build, and you'll see those showers erupting as you go through the day. Uh, down towards the southern coastline, you'll be possibly seeing a bit more in terms of some moisture going around the Maruga into a carcass up towards Point Fortin and uh, San Fernando. You may just hear a rumble or two around uh, the Gulf of Paria along the southern areas as you go through the afternoon. So temperature-wise, then looking at a warm night, possibly no lower than 25 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 26 in Tobago, and 31 in Tobago through Saturday. Now on a Sunday, conditions will still be unstable, so you could still see a couple of showers there for Tobago. But once you get into Monday and a Tuesday, that ridge of high pressure should bring mostly dry and dusty Saharan air into the region. So even though we could be seeing some dust at times, the possibility of just a localized shower in a Trinidad and Tobago through early next week. So for mariners and looking for those who are heading to the beaches, just seeing a slight to moderate chop, one and a half meters to the Caribbean, maybe getting up to two meters, and the winds just out to the east at 10 to 15 knots for the most part. So it should be pleasant going out there offshore. For the east in the Caribbean, obviously they'll be watching that little system there, pushing its way out towards the northwest. So it's no threat to land. It may just bring a bit more in terms of some unstable conditions around in Tantiga and this. St. Vincent, as St. Lucia, as you get towards the latter half of the weekend. But overall, things should be pretty much settled for most areas. So we start our tour out there in Cuba and Havana, seeing just a late shower or two, 33 degrees Celsius. In Kingston, it's a touch windy, especially along that southern coastline, all due to basically the passing of that tropical wave. And we have a bit of an upper level low as well. And we'll likely still see a bit more of a couple of clouds for the Lesser Antilles, out towards Antigua, St. Kitts, into St. Lucia, and down towards uh, Dominica. But for the most part, through Saturday, for here in Trinidad and Tobago, a few cloudy spells, a scattering of showers, and maybe just that odd rumble as we go through the afternoon. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.